Now, as Olivia approaches, the main message from state and city officials is just because it's a tropical storm, do not take Olivia lightly. Mayor Kirk Caldwell says the city has been preparing for the possibility of anything, including wind, rain, and flooding impacts, and joins us live with the latest. Mayor Caldwell, thank you so much for joining us. Now, I know we talked about two weeks ago, and, o and Lane didn't right. directly hit Oahu, but with Olivia approaching, what's your biggest concern? Rain. They're projecting 10 to 15 inches, maybe in 20 inches. And you saw with Lane, I mean, we were really lucky in Oahu, but our sister counties of the island of Hawaii and Kauai County got blasted, right? They got major rainfall. Hanalei got flooded again. Of course, parts of Hilo, 30, over 30 inches of rain. If we have that kind of event here, be major destruction. And so we are concerned. Uh, wind is dropping. It doesn't mean we're not going to have strong gusts and people need to be ready, but it's the rain uh, impacts that we're most concerned about. We're out there clearing stream miles, but they get filled with sand very quickly again when you have large waves and uh, we're trying to clear debris. But um, that's our biggest concern. We want your viewers to stay tuned, but we also want them to be ready to take action even if government doesn't say anything because it could be localized flooding just in your valley like Manoa, where I live, mm -hmm. and people need to pay attention to the streams, and if it looks dangerous, to seek higher ground immediately. Now, what kind of resources and assets do you have available? Because I know that you said that you spent over a million dollars in overtime right. from Lane and coming this time around, but it seems like you guys would be doing anything possible. Yeah. We'll be prepared again. Um, part of that overtime was because we shut down government. Um, this time, we're trying to be a little bit more measured. We're concerned about hurricane fatigue. We don't want to shut everything down and, and close down the island or the state. At the same time, we want to make sure everyone's safe. So we're taking a more measured approach as Olivia approaches, waiting for the National Weather Service to tell us that it's taken that southern turn. As you know, it's still going west. Mm -hmm. um, it's where it turns. Right now, they're projecting a turn, which takes it pretty much over Maui County. We feel bad for our, our sister county. Um, but if it turns later, can take it right over Oahu. And we're waiting for that turn. Those kinds of things will help us determine whether, when we activate the EOC, do we open up the shelters and when, and do we maybe tell our workers not to come to work. Right now, all those things are on hold until we get more information and further updates from the National Weather Service. And a lot of viewers that are tuning in, especially those tourists that are visiting and staying in Waikiki, right. what kind of message do you have for them? Stay tuned. Stay tuned to your station. Also, check in with your hotel uh, concierge, your, your front desk as to what you need to be aware of. Uh, the Waikiki is really good in terms of informing their visitors, particularly if you do have the impacts of the tropical storm going one floor up, going away from windows and walls, seek more shelter in the, in the hallways and things like that. But it also is about our bus system, you know, getting people to and from the airport, our, the workers in Waikiki to and from home. And we've been working with the visitor industry, as we did with Lane, to make sure those things stay up and running as long as possible or even continuing through this, the impacts of this storm. It depends on wind. Gusts of wind over 40 miles an hour means that our buses cannot be on the roads. Now, you mentioned a bit your biggest concern is the rain and, of course, That's the right. impacts of the flooding. What message do you have, finally, for all the people on Oahu? Well, one is, you know, stay tuned to your station. Uh, you've been doing great coverage all the way along. Justin Cruz and his updates are critical. Um, but two, you got to self-empower yourself. You know, yes, you should have your hurricane kit, 14 days of, of food, but also pay attention to your surroundings. Um, if you do see the stream rising dramatically because of torrential downpour in your area, don't wait. Go to higher ground immediately and get your neighbors to also do that immediately. Um, protect yourself and government will do what it needs as quickly as it can. Mayor Caldwell, always a pleasure. Thank you, thank you so much yeah, for dropping you. by really this morning. Very thank informative. You so much. And I know because you have a very busy day. Yeah, thank you.